Welcome to Kristen Starfish, where we explore the beauty and mystery of the ocean together. I'm Kristen, and this is my trusty sidekick, Starfish. Don't forget to like and subscribe on our channel. Today on Kristen Starfish, we're diving into the amazing world of coral. I actually did my PhD on coral. You could almost say I'm a doctor of coral. Now, these are the most important sea creatures as they build the reefs that so many animals call home. Okay, let's go take a dive. Hello, my ocean explorers. Let's dive beneath the waves to explore the wonderful world of the ocean and all of its magnificent creatures. Today we're gonna learn about the reef builders, corals. We're setting off on an extraordinary journey to explore the coral on the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is located off the coast of Australia. It's the largest coral reef in the world. It's so big you can even see it from space. How cool is that? Coral reefs are often called rainforests of the sea because of their incredible biodiversity. They are home and shelter to thousands of fish, invertebrates, and other marine creatures, many of which are brightly and beautifully patterned. Corals come in a wide range of shapes. Look at all of these plate corals on the reef. There's also branching or intricate massive ones that look like brain corals. We also have massive boulders and solitary corals too. Wow! Now they come in the most beautiful colors. Even some of the same species can have the same color right beside each other. Now what color are these corals? Yeah, a pink one and a yellowy brown one. Now just like us, corals can even get sick with different diseases, like black band or white band disease. Aw. Now, how do you think corals eat? Well, one of the ways they can do it is they extend their polyps through their tiny mouths and capture some of the particles that are floating by and move them into their digestive cavity. But they get most of their energy from the sunlight. Yes, they rely on the tiny algae that live inside their tissue to capture sunlight and give them energy. Yeah, it's a symbiotic relationship. The coral give the algae protection and in return, the algae give the coral some energy. So what do you think happens when the seawater gets really hot during the summer? When corals are stressed by factors such as rising sea temperatures, they expel the zooxanthellae from their tissue, which makes the coral white. Now, a bleached or white coral can recover from a mild bleaching event, but it's these severe and prolonged bleaching events that are gonna cause death. The coral kingdom is a magical place beneath the waves, and coral really are the heart of these enchanting ecosystems. Thanks for taking a dive with me. Emperor Snapper! Even as humans, we need to be as resilient as coral, being able to withstand stressful situations. As we grow together, there will be challenges. The best way to do this is to remember how strong and brave you are. Say it with me. I'm strong. I'm brave. Those are my superpowers. But remember, the only way to get brave is to try things. So you have to get out there and try some of those scary things. Okay, let's go do an activity. Welcome back for another episode of the buoyancy test. Yep, this is where we see if things sink or float. All right, starfish, what do we have in our 
special treasure box today. Let's see. Mm. Oh my god! Pikachu! Oh, you're so cute when you're this small. Okay, what do you think? Sink or float? Do you like water? No? Let's see. Whoa! Big sinker. He was pretty heavy. All right, what next? Baby Boxy! Oh my god, you are so cute. What do you think? Sink or float? Hmm. He floats! Okay, what else do we have? Oh, ping pong ball! Pretty light. Likely has some air inside too. What do you think? Sink or float? Definitely floats. And what else? Oh my god, it's Gecko's Gecko from PJ Mask! Oh, right. Do you like water? Probably just to drink it. Hey, do you like swimming? Let's see. Time to take a dive. And he sinks! Well, today, Pikachu and Gecko sink, Foxy and Ping Pong Ball float! Thanks for joining us on another buoyancy test. Take care. Thanks for being part of the Kristen Starfish journey. Keep believing in yourself and swimming towards success. Remember, if you want to see more videos, please like and subscribe. I can be reached anytime at drkristenstarfish at gmail.com. Remember, in a world of angry sharks, let's all be starfish. Take care.